I'm shocked that so many people came out to show love for my son. Spermer County community is coming together to stand with the family of a teenager killed a week ago today. Hundreds of them, in fact, you see them here at a vigil for Quest Rivera. It's at Boiling Springs High School where he was in the 10th grade. Now, the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office and the Coroner's Office are still investigating Rivera's death. Deputies say he was shot in Inman last Thursday. Tonight, an emotional vigil in his honor. Also, a message about guns. 7 News reporter Nikkel Smith joins us now with what those people had to say tonight. Nikkel. Well, Gordon, Amy Rivera's mother was also at the vigil, which one week after losing her 16 year old son. Quest is a good kid. Emotional and memories of Quest Rivera were shared at Boiling Springs High School, where he once walked the halls. He sat right beside me every single day. I told him how to ride a bike. Yeah, I love you. Relatives, friends, and even co workers. And when we got the news, it hurt us. Talked about how much he meant to them as his mother sat in the audience. It lets me know that my son is really loved. It's been one week since Spartanburg County deputies say Rivera was shot to death inside a home on Stevens Court in Inman. The sheriff's office is still investigating after deputies were told the shooting was accidental. The coroner has not made a ruling. And not really knowing what actually happened, that, that's hurtful. Rivera was in 10th grade at Boiling Springs High. Principal Chuck Gordon says a vigil honoring him is also to support his classmates. And we want them to find that opportunity to be together and to bring closure to this moment uh, for them. An opportunity to also send a message in the midst of a tragedy. This is what our organization is about, educating children and teens to stay away from gun violence. It's advice echoed by other speakers. Because you don't have life if you have not been taught to use it, you don't need it. Outside the cafeteria doors, candles were lit and balloons released for a young life that's already missed. I've been praying a lot. I haven't been getting enough sleep, but um, I know my son is in a better place. Still a very tough time for that family, sure. and Rivera's uh, funeral is going to be this Saturday at Breakthrough Church in Spartanburg, Gordon. So I, I bet what the family really wants here is, is some answer, finally, as to what happened that night. The initial report, as you said, was that it was an accidental shooting, but now they're waiting to hear from the coroner. How long is this going to take? Is This is still an ongoing investigation, is what the sheriff's office tells us. And the coroner, again, has not made a ruling as to whether or not that shooting was accidental, Gordon. We shall find out. All right, Nikkel Smith, thank you.